Hello, it's Kenesha. I know I've been giving you guys a lot of videos here lately, huh? So we are two days to the end of the month. Tomorrow is push day. A lot of you are going for promotions. I am so proud of you. If you are doing the blitzing challenge, it starts tomorrow. I'm excited about that. It has been raining here all week, so I have not been able to get out and pay the payment like I would like. But I am starting my blitzing challenge off with a bang. I am doing a event in the morning for two and a half hours at a hair salon. So I plan on telling every woman that comes in that salon about my business. So I'm excited about that. Um, this video is just mainly a get fired up video. But I also want to share an experience that I had with you guys recently. Maybe it will be a blessing to someone in their business. I, um, I had a lady that was interested about the mascara. She was really fired up, really excited about doing a party. The next live event that I had for party, I only do parties on Tuesdays and Thursdays. The next date that I had available was that Tuesday, and she contacted me like on a thir last Thursday or Friday. And I immediately saw that she had booked a party with another consultant, and I was devastated because I've ordered from her before. I've supported events that she's done, and I thought she was my friend. So it kind of hurt my feelings that she went on to somewhere else and then sends me a message, oh, it's nothing personal. I'm just really fired up about it. I say this to say during this 200 people blitzing challenge, it's 30 days, 50 people a week. That is a lot of people. So today I want you to really sit down, figure out why you're doing this. Because about day 15 or so, you're going to be tired because you done got out there. You've been talking to five people a day every day. You're telling them about your business. You're booking home parties. You're booking live events for yourself. I know I'm having a margarita and makeover party. And I'm also having a magic mascara party. And I'm thinking about doing a um, a dream board party. So I say all that to say I'm hosting as many live events that I can on top of I challenge myself to book 12 home parties. So doing that, that'll give me, um, I'm hoping the opportunity to meet other people. You can do this 200 people however you want to. I personally challenge myself to meet 400 new people. And I feel like I have to do that as a leader. I have to push myself, and I'm going to. So I am going to do 200 people, I mean 400 people, and that's just what I'm going to do. But I challenge you guys to do 200 people, 50 people a week, four weeks. We're going to do this. Um, every Monday, I'm starting a new sneak peek group. So every Monday, make sure you have five people, five new people to add to the group. Um, if you're green and above, I'm starting a once-a-month leadership um, training with us, too. So we can also start that. And get your conference tickets. If you're not, if you have not yet, please get it. I think it's two hundred and forty nine dollars. They just released it to where you can now bring a guest, and it's like one hundred ninety nine dollars for your guests to come. My entire family will be there. I got a suite, so while I'm mingling with you guys, my kids and my husband will be um, chilling in the hotel room enjoying the pool while I'm working. So I love it. But anyway, get your conference ticket if you have not. Um. Also, just remember that you can do this. Uh, going back to what my friends, what I was saying about my friend, do not, do not, do not alter your business hours. Your business hours are your business hours for a reason. And if you don't have business hours, please get some. I personally don't have business hours, so I'm actually doing a schedule today because 30 days is a long time to be pushing. I mean, I'm going to be having meetings all day long, doing three-way calls with you guys. I want to be available here for you. So in order for me to stay energized and to want to do that for a full 30 days, I realize that I have to get myself on the schedule. So I am even setting an alarm clock to get up at a certain time, scheduling my devotional time, scheduling my workout time, scheduling time with my kids. I'm now implicating date night in my schedule. Um, when I clean everything, any information that I would need, I'm totally um, putting it in there because you have to be accountable for your business. And you don't want to get burnt out because I promise when you get to day 15 and you've talked to 200 people, I mean to 100 people, you're going to want to stop. But that's the thing. When you get to that point where you're hitting that wall, it's kind of like when you eat dinner. It's so good. You want to keep on going, but now you've hit a wall, so you're going to stop. You got to look at this as a food eating contest. You got to push through that wall. The summer months, they say, are the lowest months for sales. So because of that, you have to go over and beyond to book even more because people are traveling. People don't really have money because their kids are out of school. They have to have food for them. So you have to make sure that 
you keep them following up. So on top of blitzing your 200 people, I really want you to be aware on what this is going to be. So you're going to meet 50 people a week, and then that's Sunday to Saturday, 50 people. And then Sunday to Saturday, 50 more people. So now that is 100 people that you're in constant contact with, following up with them, making sure that they're loving their mascara if they order, if they have not, trying to get them to order, and presenting the business opportunity to them. Sunday to Thursday, another 50 people. That's 150 people you're following up with now. Sunday to thir- Sunday to Saturday again, that's another 50 people. Now you're at 200 people. And if you keep that momentum going like I plan to do, we will be where we want to be, regardless wherever that is for you. Whether you're trying to be at $1,000 a month or $10,000 a month, that is totally up to you and how you keep these 50 people. Now, here's the catch. You cannot just recruit anybody into your business. And what I mean by that is just because someone acts excited about the business and wants to be a part of it, that may not be the person for your team. And I want you to understand what type of team that you're building. Tonight, I really want you to write down your why, what is pushing you to want to be better, what does your income need to be, which means you need to work the figures on where exactly your personal sales need to be and where do you think your um, your girl sales need to be. And I say that like me, in order to get black, I need one more green and three more girls to sign up and get yellow to help for my circle sales. For those of you that don't know the comp plan yet, I'm going to start doing a weekly call on that. Like a lot of things are changing in Team Bling. So we have leadership now for training. I'm starting a pinks and purples leadership training. I started a Facebook group for you guys, but it just wasn't working out. So I'm just going to start doing a one-on-one training with pinks and purples. I mean, pinks and blues that kind of feel stuck but want to take their business to the next level and not really sure what to do. And I'm going to start back doing once a week. Um, team meetings. So now that is three calls a week that I'm doing. I need you guys to step up. I need some leaders to step up. If you're interested in hosting an opportunity call, hosting a motivational call, doing a prayer for our group, step up. It's okay. And I promise it's going to begin to build up your self-confidence where you'll be better at talking to people about your business. You can totally do it. I got faith in you. Message me if you're willing to help me. Talk to you later. Bye.